Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So in this video, I just wanted to share with you guys what my plan is this year for dried flowers. Now last year I did a little bit of flower drying at the end of the season just as an experiment. It was something that I had never done before, but I had in the back of my mind that I wanted to, in the off season, create some products out of dried flowers so that I would have them for extra sales at markets, say um, in the winter, spring, or fall when my actual cut flower garden had gone to sleep for the season. So I did a little bit of experimenting last year. I'll put a picture up on the screen of what I had saved. I think they turned out really pretty. Now I have not done anything with them yet. They are just in my storage room here, um, but they will last until this next year and I will definitely be using them. So this year, I am growing some areas in my garden that will be specifically for dried flowers. And I have a list of certain varieties that I'm growing um, in certain colors that I'm gonna share with you today. Now my plan for these is to make some dried flower wreaths. And I'll put a few pictures up on the screen, kind of my Pinterest inspiration. But this is the style that I'm going to be going for. And I'm hoping to sell these at some end of the season markets um, maybe over Christmas at some markets, you know, next spring, um, Valentine's Day, just for some added gifts. And I have in my head that I want these all to be a general color scheme. So the colors that I have chosen, I am hoping all work together really well to give that certain look for the wreaths that I'm putting together. Now, one other product I'm also considering is some sort of dried flower Christmas ornament. So there will be a couple of red tones that you will see in here that I'm thinking of specifically for that. But most of the flowers that I'm growing will be for these wreaths that I will create in the off season. So let's jump right into it. The first variety of flowers that I'm growing for these dried flowers are straw flowers. Straw flowers obviously dry amazing because when they bloom, they're pretty much a dried flower already. So the four colors of straw flowers that I will be doing this year are the copper red, the dragon fire. Now these are the two that I am thinking of specifically for those Christmas markets because I think that those are deep, rich tones that would fill in great with that season. Um, maybe with a little greenery, but we'll get to that. Then I'm doing the vintage white and the peach mix. And this is kind of the color scheme I'm going for for the wreaths. I'm doing the peaches, pinks, whites, um, cream colors, ivories. That's the color scheme I'm going for for those. All right, moving on, status. Status is also an amazing dried flower. It holds its color super well, and it kind of has that um, dried texture already when you harvest it. So the three varieties that I'm growing of status for dried flowers are the Apricot Beauty, the Status Seeker White, and the Sunset Mix. I think these all will fit into that color scheme perfectly. Okay, Gomfrina. I grew Gomfrina last year. That plant is a workhorse. I quickly realized I did not need that many plants. Now I am growing about six different varieties of Gomfrina to tuck into my cut flower cut flower bouquets for this year, but three I am growing that I will be harvesting for dried flowers. That's the Audrey White, which was my favorite from last year, the Raspberry Cream, and the QIS Carmine. Okay, moving on to Larkspur. Larkspur is something that I have never grown before, but I have seen on a few YouTube videos that it dries really well. And it is also a total different shape from the other flowers that I'm growing. Um, you know, it's a taller, slender shape. I thought it might be a really nice mix in for those wreaths for something longer. So I'm just gonna start a little bit of Larkspur this year and I'm going to do the QIS White and the Misty Lavender. All right, Celosia, or Celosia, however you pronounce it. I grew a ton of Celosia last year. It was one of my favorite accent flowers in my bouquets. So I am going to use three varieties this year for dried flowers. I'm gonna use the Flamingo Feather, which is a new variety to me, but I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. I'm using the Selway White and the Selway Terracotta. I think all these will be perfect for those wreaths, but also perfect in my bouquets. So I'm gonna be harvesting that for both. Okay, so I have two items left on my list, 
And these are not flowers, but these will be fillers. So these will add um, kind of the background for the products that I'm gonna make. First is bunny tail grass. I think bunny tail grass is absolutely adorable and I'm really excited to grow some of this in my garden. This will be 100% for these wreaths. When it dries, it dries a light ivory or cream color. I think it's gonna be so pretty. So I'm growing that specifically for those wreaths and I also am growing eucalyptus. Now eucalyptus, I started in one of my previous videos. I am having amazing germination with it so far. So I'll probably update you guys on that soon when I do a whole tour of my grow light setup with the rest of my seedlings. But eucalyptus I'm gonna be growing to fill in for my bouquets, but also drying for these wreaths. And that's gonna give me the green aspect in my products that I want. Not only for the wreaths, but if I do do those ornaments at Christmas time, you know you want red and green. So eucalyptus will give me that really pretty soft green color. So, that is my plan for my dried flowers for the year. If you guys have grown varieties specifically for dried flowers before, comment below and let me know what your favorites were and how they worked. I'd really love to hear, but I will make sure to keep you guys posted on how they're growing for the season, when I harvest them, and then of course in the off season when I'm making all of these products, I'll most likely show you guys my process and share how they turn out. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about what my plan is for the year, and maybe this will inspire you to do a few extra projects for the off season as well. So anyway, stay tuned for a lot more this spring. I have a lot of projects coming up, so I'll keep you updated here and on Instagram. So stay tuned, we'll see you soon.